so today I am creating this video which is part of the cal for the baby sock knit, uh, knitting okay so I'm going to uh, cast on 16 stitches using Judy's uh, magic cast on so what you have to do first is you can make a slip knot like this okay and then insert a needle on this make it tight okay and I'm using a 2.25 mm needle which is a US one okay and then so you have one needle like this with the slip knot okay the next needle you have to bring it below this like you know make it like this okay and the short one it's like we are going to hold the yarn like we are doing a long tail cast on so the long one is on the between the thumb uh, between the index finger and the middle finger and then the one which is the working yarn is to on the thumb so the way we hold it is uh, the same as long tail cast on so but just make sure that the short one is on the index finger and the long one on the thumb so we are going to cast on uh, 16 stitches 8 stitches on each so now we have okay so the first is you take one stitch so we are going to cast on one stitch from the index finger on the uh, needle in the below okay so we have two stitches then you twist a little bit like this and then bring the yarn from the top and then just do one more like this okay so you have two and then similarly one it you, you cast on this two which has become four and then twist a little bit and then bring the yarn from the top and then cast on the third and then and from here third and then twist again bring from the top fourth and this is the below fourth twist from the top fifth and then one more from the top this is the sixth and twist seven and twist from the top and then eight stitches so now you have 16 stitches on both the needles and what you can see here is this side is quite smooth and nice and to know which one is the fr which one should be the front and which one should be the back so this one should be the front and if you turn you can see some bumps here which means this is the back of the work and this is the front of the work so you will turn this uh, needle like this the bumps facing you and the uh, tip of the needle on your right hand side okay so this is how we should have it and this uh, this yarn which is short should be on top of the long yarn okay the long should be coming out from below this short yarn okay now we'll turn like this okay facing the front towards you and then the tip on the right hand side so when you have it like this pull out the needle which is below okay and now we are going to knit the first round of the socks which is a knit all round okay so for the first round I usually like to knit this row specially through the back loop because of the facing of the this is okay I think the next one the next uh, uh, needle so the first needle we are just knitting so knitting all eight stitches like this okay now the 
you pull this needle back and then bring the front towards your 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 side the back away from you and then now pull out this needle which is from below again and then we will knit all the stitches so when I'm knitting all the stitches here I will knit it through the back loop only for this okay because the facing of the stitches are like comfortable knitting through the back loop so this is the first round okay and then we will pull back the needle again and put it together like this facing the right side towards you and the wrong side away from you so like this and whenever you have it like this always remember that the working needle is the one which is below the below one okay this is always the working needle so you pull this out again now we will do which is a round number three which says kfb is knitting front and back which means we are increasing one stitch so insert the needle and then we'll knit front and back so this is front and then twist and then knit through the back loop also so from one stitch we have created two stitches and then we will knit five stitches one two three four and five so when we knit five stitches you have two stitches here now we will knit the knit front and back in this stitch if we knit it at the last uh, the facing is not proper that's why it's always good to knit on the last but one stitch so here we will do a knit front and back knit front we have already done now we will do the knit at back so again increasing one stitch and then the last stitch oops okay like this and again bring the needles together like this the front facing you the back facing away and the needle tips together so now again what we have to understand is the below one is the working needle so pull this out and then we will repeat the same again knit front and back on the first stitch front and then back increase one stitch here and then we'll knit five one two three four and five and then we'll do a knit front and back and then knit one okay again we will bring these two needles together like this and then the front facing you the back facing away pull out the needle below and then we'll do knit all Okay, now you can see a little bit how it is forming the toe increase okay again the same thing I have brought the needles together the front facing me you can see now the front is making the toe increase a little bit and then you pull out the one which is below and then now again we will do 
knit front and back no this is knit front and back no this is knit all so we are still at round number four okay I will do round number five which is another increase and then once you get how the increase is done then you can do it yourself with all the increases as per the pattern so now we are at row number five round number five okay so this is another increase Okay, so I will do the first one is knit front and back. Then I will knit seven. One, two. Three, four, five, six, and seven, and then we'll do a knit front and back, knit front, and then back, and then knit. For needle two again, we'll repeat the same. Knit front and back. Then knit seven. And then knit front and back. And now we are at round number six, which is knit all. Okay, and then round number seven. Knit front and back. Then knit nine.
okay and then knit front and back front and then back and then knit one repeat this again knit front and back knit nine then knit front and back and then knit one round number eight is just knit all so we'll do a knit all round So the next one is round number nine so for round number nine again we will do increase so the first is knit front and back and then we do a knit 11 four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and then we do knit front and back knit front and then back and then knit one we'll repeat this again So knit front and back then we'll do knit 11 And then we'll do knit front and back and then knit one so now we are at round number 10 which is a knit all
then the next one is round number 11 this is again an increase round so we'll do increase here so the first is a knit front and back knit front and then back then we'll do a knit 13 one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and thirteen and then we'll do a knit front and back and then knit one we'll repeat the same again front and back knit 13 And then knit front and back and knit one so for round number 12 is knit all And now we are at round number 13 again an increase round knit front and back knit front and then back and then knit 15 one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen, and then knit front and back, and then knit one. We'll repeat this again. knit front and back knit 15 
then knit front and back and then knit so the next one is round number 14 which is knit all across So you can also use a you know marker and put it in front just to know that which one is the front side okay so this is knit all across Then now we are at round number 15, which is the increase round. So the first is a knit front and back. Then we have to knit 17. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. And then we'll do a knit front and back. And then the last stitch is a knit. Repeat this again. So knit front and back, knit 17. And then knit front and back and the last this is knit now we are at round number 16 which is knit all across so now you can very beautifully see how the toe increase is happening okay so round number 16 knit all across
Okay, so round number 17. This is the last increase round. So knit front and back. And then knit 19. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and nineteen. And then knit for front and back, knit front and then back, and then knit one. We'll repeat this again. Knit front and back. We're knitting nineteen. And then knit front and back and then knit so the last round for the toe increase is row number 18 which is a knit all round so we have completed the toe increase I will simply knit all this stitches now we have 48 stitches from here we will start the uh, foot knitting this i will take it up in the next video after few days Okay, so this side after knitting, I'm done with the toe increase entirely. So this one should fit a one year old because this pattern I wrote it down after I knitted for a one year old baby. So if you want to uh, make a or say create a bigger one you can just keep on increasing like this you know like we did it knit front and back and uh, one row increase like four stitches and then one row of plain knitting and then you can get bigger sizes so the concept is the same the technique is the same even for you know whether you want to knit 56 stitches 64 or 72 okay so i'm finally i'm done with the complete toe increase okay so hope you will enjoy knitting along with me the same pattern okay bye bye